What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm showing you five outfits for New Year's Eve. All right, with this outfit, I feel like I could just drop the mic right here and we'd be done, but that would not be a very complete video. So we have to talk about this gold velvet dinner jacket from Michael Andrews Bespoke. Now I need to tell you that gold was not actually my first choice. I originally wanted burgundy, but that fabric was sold out. So I decided to go with gold velvet instead. And I think that's probably the best decision I have made in a very long time. I did it with a satin shawl lapel, jetted pockets, a single button and as you can see both the jacket buttons and the sleeve buttons are kind of these more fun buttons in keeping with the you know whole vibe of the gold velvet dinner jacket shirt is bespoke by Edward Sexton it's actually an off-white color and keeping with the more interesting presentation we have here you can see that it has a hidden placket my bow tie is a satin diamond point cut for me by my friend Nicholas from La Nue Papillon who makes the best bow ties in the world statement making glasses are by Persol and my shoes are the most comfortable formal loafers ever by Belgian Shoes NYC, worn as they should be with silk socks. Here's a great example of how a simple look can be extremely chic and stylish and very powerful. We've got basically two pieces here. First, a six button double breasted charcoal flannel suit with a big peak lapel and flat pockets. And then this black merino wool turtleneck by Uniqlo. It's a very simple look, but in its simplicity, there is a lot of elegance and sophistication. I don't often wear my glasses, but for some reason, I feel a chic evening look like this is the perfect palette for a nice pair of eyeglasses. The ones I have on are by Tom Ford. On my wrist, I have my classic 36 millimeter date just, and then some simple black tassel loafers by Allen Edmonds to finish it off. Now, some people will say, when am I ever gonna get to wear a tuxedo except maybe at a wedding or some event like that? And my response to that is, you don't really need something to wear it to. You can make any outing into a tuxedo-worthy event, and that is especially true on New Year's Eve. You know, walk into a nice restaurant or an elegant cocktail lounge in a tux and you will immediately own that room, especially if it's a double-breasted tux like this. This was actually my wedding tuxedo made by Michael Andrews Bespoke. Four button double breasted, massive four and a half inch grosgrain peak lapels, and these very stylish cocktail cuffs. My Marcella Bibb shirt is again bespoke by Edward Sexton. Bow tie is also bespoke by Lenou Papillon in a shape called the Modified Butterfly. Patent loafers again by Belgian Shoes NYC, and having a little bit of fun here with a burgundy Palatino sock. Here we have the most sartorial slash hashtag menswear look of the bunch. This look is all about flannel, layering, and patterns. Two different flannel pieces here from two different flannel suits. The first is an olive green jacket from a suit that my friend Jake Muser made for me. And the charcoal pants are from the suit that you saw in the second look. Now, as a layering piece, I have this sleeveless wool cardigan by Drake's. Layering a cardigan under a blazer, whether it has sleeves or not, is a more casual alternative to a traditional waistcoat. Some simple pattern mixing going on here as well with the stripe of the shirt and the medallion print of the tie. Pocket Square is one of the most classic Drake's designs and the whole outfit is pulled together and anchored by the Jefferson wingtip by Allen Edmonds. Okay, this last look is admittedly a little tongue in cheek, but also not. Uh, you know, sometimes maybe you don't want to or don't feel like going out for New Year's Eve. You just wanna stay at home, not be around anyone, sit on the couch, relax, maybe have a cocktail or some champagne and just be comfortable. So why not be comfortable in the most luxe way possible with some silk pajamas and a dressing gown? Both the pajamas and the dressing gown I am wearing are by Derek Rose of London, some of the most luxurious sleepwear and loungewear that I have ever worn. The glasses I have on are by Cubits and my house slippers are my favorite suede loafers by Belgian Shoes NYC. However you guys end up celebrating your New Year's Eve this year, I hope you have a wonderful time and you do it with style. Now, as always, all of the outfit details are listed below in the description. Leave a comment and let me know which look was your favorite. Thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching and Happy New Year.